Young Sheldon is a heartwarming and funny show, a prequel to the popular sitcom The Big Bang Theory. The sixth season of Young Sheldon ended with many cliffhangers, and the release date of season 7 is out. So here is everything you need to know about Young Sheldon season 7. Goodbye Mr. Cooper and Professor Proton. When Sheldon Cooper and his family return, it'll be the start of one final sprint. It's official. The CBS comedy drama Young Sheldon will be ending with its upcoming 7th season. The new season of the Big Bang Theory prequel series will consist of 14 episodes, making it shorter than previous seasons. The shortened length is partially due to the lengthy actors and writers' strikes, which disrupted the television broadcast season while the AMPTP delayed negotiations. The series finale will be an hour-long episode that will air on February 15, 2024. The series following the life of Sheldon Cooper as a child growing up in East Texas. Sheldon was struggling at East Texas Tech and Mary and George's marriage was on the rocks. Missy was also starting to rebel and Georgie was dealing with the fallout from his relationship with Mandy soon. The announcement of the last season is not surprising, as events referenced in the Mothership series will soon begin to play out. Young Sheldon is CBS's flagship comedy series, and from the statement released by the company, there exists a reluctance to part with the comedic gem. As a prequel to one of the biggest comedies, Young Sheldon proved lightning can strike twice, said Amy Reichenbach, president of CBS Entertainment. It set itself apart with a remarkable cast that felt like a family from the first moment we saw them on screen and brought characters to life with unique, heartfelt stories that drew audiences in from the start. We extend a sincere thank you to executive producers Chuck Lore, Steve Molaro, and Steve Holden and the entire writing and producing team for six wonderful seasons. We look forward to seeing their final season unfold and giving it proper send-off with the best episodes yet for their fans to enjoy. Created by Lore and Malaro, Young Sheldon centers on the formative childhood years of Sheldon Cooper, a child prodigy with a once-in-a-generation mind capable of advanced levels of math, physics, and science. His unique abilities make him a handful for his family and society at large. However, the Cooper family must band together and find a working formula. While offering gratitude for the journey so far, Holland, Lore, and Malaro in a joint statement said being able to tell the origin of Sheldon Cooper and expanding the story to include the entire Cooper family has been a wonderful experience. Launched in 2017, three years before the original series ended, Young Sheldon drew an estimated 11 million viewers per episode. With a consistent appetite for beating its competition, Young Sheldon remains the number one comedy for the 2022-23 broadcast season, continuing its trade of being a strong ratings performer. After The Big Bang Theory quickly became an incredible success on television, it was inevitable to think about a spin-off series during its impressive 12-season run. This new comedy series, set in the fictional town of Medford, Texas in the late 1980s and the early 1990s, also proved extremely popular as the viewers grew attached to the Cooper family, though probably not as much as the previous series. Currently, Young Sheldon has aired six full seasons and has produced a total of 127 episodes so far. The series was renewed for three seasons in March 2021 including season 5, 6, and 7, which means that the upcoming season 7 will officially begin. However, despite consistently high ratings, there was some debate as to whether season 7 would be the final season and could bring the series to a close. There is no denying that many stories have been told in this series, but some seem to be reaching a natural end. While season 7 may be some time away, you can watch all 6 release seasons of Young Sheldon on various services. Max currently has 5 seasons of the show, while DirecTV has all 6. Paramount Plus currently only has the latest season, season 6. You can also buy individual episodes or complete seasons of the show via Google Play, Amazon and Microsoft Store, Apple TV and Voodoo. As you know, Young Sheldon was created by Chuck Lore and Steven Molaro. Lore is best known for having co-created hit sitcoms such as Two and a Half Men, The Big Bang Theory, Mom and most recently The Kominsky Method. Molaro previously served as a writer, executive producer, and showrunner on The Big Bang Theory and has also written for shows such as Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, and iCarly. The duo has written episodes of Young Sheldon alongside a larger team that includes but is not limited to Steve Holland, Jeremy Holm, Connor Kilpatrick, Eric Kaplan, and Tara Hernandez. 
The episodes have been directed by Alex Red, Jafar Mahmood, and Chris Koch, among many others. Over the years, the core cast of Young Sheldon, aka the Cooper family, has remained largely the same. However, the series has gradually built an extensive group of important supporting characters, too many of whom will more than likely appear in season 7. Within the Cooper family, we have Ian Armitage as Sheldon and Jim Parsons respiring his role as the adult version through narration, Zoe Perry as Mary, Lance Barber as George Sr., Montana Jordan as Georgie and Reagan Rabbit as Missy. Rounding out our main cast as Annie Potts as Connie and Emily Osman as Mandy McAllister, who became a series regular during season 6. Other significant characters include Melissa Perriman as Brenda Sparks, White McClure as Billy Sparks, Matt Hobby as Pastor Jeff Difford, Wallace Shawn as John Sturgis, Craig T. Nelson as Dale Ballard, Ed Bagley Jr. as Dr. Grant Linklater, Wendy Malik as Linda Hagmir, as well as Rachel Bay Jones and Will Sasso as Audrey and Jim McAllister. While the series was originally a family sitcom at heart, Season 6 shifted young Sheldon more than ever before into a dramedy. There are still many hilarious comedic beats but many episodes were not afraid to let more serious issues and family drama take center stage, a move that paid off quite well. Season 6 saw Mary and George's relationship on the rocks as they both experienced significant setbacks in their personal lives. Fired by the church, Mary is now working at the local bowling alley alongside neighbor Brenda Sparks. After losing his job late in Season 5, George was rehired to coach the second football team, while his secret friendship with Brenda was brought to light. This further fuels the tension between him and Mary, who already feels like an outcast from her community. Missy too loses some respect for her father because of this secret while also experiencing her own personal dilemmas. She feels forgotten by her family as both Sheldon and Georgie are receiving all the attention leading Missy to make some rebellious choices. She shockingly runs away from home and refuses to talk to Sheldon after he tells her about smoking. Based on where we left everyone at the end of season 6, there are quite a few story threads to follow up on, as well as some new ones that were set up. Firstly, we need to find out about Sheldon's big trip to Germany for his summer internship program. This could easily be a life-changing experience for Sheldon. However, what's just as intriguing is what Mary might get up to during her time abroad. Without George by her side or kids, besides Sheldon, to worry about. This trip could help Mary break out of her funk, offering a new city and culture to explore. Back home in Medford, however, the situation will certainly be far more stressful. George needs to look after Missy Solo, and despite making up, there's likely still some tension between the two. Their relationship is uneasy enough without the chaos that was brought by the tornado. With Connie's home destroyed, there's a possibility that she will move in with them. Mandy and Ceci too, as they were also living there which left Georgie often going between both homes. All under one roof, the Cooper home could quickly become more chaotic than usual, which will only increase when Sheldon and Mary return. From a continuity standpoint, there are also some key events first mentioned by an adult Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory about his childhood that may finally happen in this upcoming season. He discussed how when he turned 14, three significant events happened that year. The first which we already know is on the way is his brother Georgie's getting married for the first time. Secondly, Sheldon made the decision to move from Medford, Texas to Pasadena, California. Lastly and most tragically, that's also the year his father passed away. If season 7 does become the show's final outing, we are in for a very busy and emotional ending to young Sheldon, on par with the most heart-wrenching moments of the Big Bang Theory. So that's all for today. What do you think about the plot of Season 7? Comment down your predictions. Hit the like button and subscribe for more. Bye.